morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name's Jade and this is How to Buy a West and today, grab your knob. Boom. We're taking a look at Dub Filter from Audio Thing, based off King Tubby's Big Knob. Yo, what's going on? Good morning. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Good evening. Wherever you are in the world, I don't know. It could be anywhere. I'm here in Australia and it's weird. Last last night before I went to bed, I turned on the tap and there's no water in my house. All the water was off and I panicked and I went loopy and I lost the plot. No water. No taps had water. Then we found out they were doing work around uh, my area and the water came on about an hour later. So uh, I don't have to bathe in my own uh, urine. So good stuff. We're all <laughs> we're doing okay. <laughs> You're all doing good. Welcome to the show. My name is Jade and this is how to app on iOS. Welcome to our Wart Warriors. I need to say thank you for being a Wart Warrior. If you are a member of this channel, it's very kind of you. We have like 130 members. It fluctuates. Sometimes it's up to 180. Sometimes it's down to 130. But I thank you very much. For all of those who are Wart Warriors, um, if everything goes to plan this week, Wart Warriors will be in for a treat because our quiz will actually happen this week. Asterix. <laughs> There's a lot of shit going on this weekend. I, I got a lot of stuff personally that I'm trying to deal with at the moment away from YouTube. So... Uh, <laughs> I'm not playing Funk Fest this weekend. I've given that spot up to an amazing artist by the name of Liz Day. So really go and check out that show. It's happening this weekend. Funk Fest over in Camp G May's channel. There's like 25 artists. You know, I could have played, but you get to see me every day. I say pay it forward. You know what I'm saying? Give it to an artist who uh, people may, may not have seen before live. So there's that happening. Hopefully the quiz is happening. Okay, hopefully, fingers crossed, it's uh, due for Sunday, US, UK time, after Valerie Butt's uh, normal show, two hours before this show starts. All, it's all done. It's all ready to go. It just depends on stuff over the weekend, personal stuff. I, I'll i keep you informed, though. It's a thing. Uh, there's just a lot going on here in my home at the moment that needs to be sorted out. All right, uh, what are we up to today? I should say hello to you all because you're all so kind enough to be here today. Hello, Rise of Dark Leela. Great show as always. Fantastic, Leela. You're, you're such a, a joy to behold in the morning. Um, it's nice to get up to listen to you. And yes, I am doing an opening hour. It'll be pre-recorded, Thomas. I've already pre-recorded it. It's already ready to go uh, because I just have things on. So I can't, I won't be here. But yes, there is an opening hour going on on Sunday, usual time. And remember, too, uh, on Sunday, uh, US time, if you're watching this show, everything changes because our clocks go back. Yay. <laughs> I'll give updates on my community tab on Facebook, all that stuff, so you'll know if you don't want to use your brain like I don't want to use my brain. I hate using my brain. Anyway, hi, good to see you, Thomas and Joe and Barry Glenn. Barry's probably not far, too far behind. Um, we have Legs11 in the house. Hello. Chad Freeman, g'day. Mateusz Prakowski, who I'd sung some vocals for on one of his songs. Can you believe it? I actually did a collaboration. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> With Mateusz Prakowski. And hopefully uh, he can get it all sorted out, all my crappy vocals that I did. <laughs> Uh, there's my good friend of Falcro. What's going on, Falcro? Love you lots, Falcro. Uh, we got uh, Covered by CQ. Welcome. It's good to see you coming back every day, Covered by CQ. Uh, Ed B. Metal. I'll, I'll hopefully give you a laugh today. I, I'll try my hardest. Chris Lane Senior's in the house. Boom. What's going on, my friend? Good on you, Chris. Um, have I missed anyone up top? That's what she said. We've got a big knob to play with today. Oh, God. I've already started. You know when there's a big knob involved, it's going to be joke after joke after joke, childish humour. 
I'm sure the de developers hate me for this rubbish. Um, but you've got to have fun when you're playing with apps, don't you, when you're playing with your big knob? Okay. Do I need to cover anything else? No walk with me this week, just so you know. As I said, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, um, th but there could be a surprise. Who knows? Just, just keep focused. I want to cover something um, that happened last night, uh, iOS related, before we jump in. Let me just grab an app here and move it somewhere else. Uh, what can we do? We'll grab this one and move it over here. Uh, let's move that there. Okay, so... Now, there's this app that's been out here on um, iOS for the longest time. It's probably at 2015 by Korg, uh, called the IM1, and it's so old. It's so old, and I've never owned it, and last night I actually bought it because it's t it's gone AUV3 end. Let me tell you, this thing is fucking awesome. It is so good. If you like 90 sounds, we're going to take a look at this. Uh... Oh, it's so good. Anyway. So I actually do buy apps. Just so you know, sometimes you can't wait for a code to come and you're so excited that you spend 30 bucks on an app that you shouldn't have. There's that. All right. Uh, what are we going to do? We've got to go over here first and jump in over here to the beat community. Oh, hello, Audible Video as well. I missed you there. I missed you, Audi. I saw you sneaking there and I just missed you. So, you're so missable, Audi. <laughs> Um, let's talk about this first. Yesterday we covered the nine uh, Chinese wind instruments uh, from uh, Kong Audio. Well, as soon as my show finished, the bundle was released. Of course it was. Of course, straight after the show. And no, so now, so the apps, there's nine of them. They work out to be $1.99 each. You can get them in a bundle for $14. So that's a that's a pretty nice saving. Don't even find it. 40, 15, 16, that's a four bucks, about four bucks saving if you buy them in a bundle, all nine instruments. So there's that. Also, I saw there's a couple of bugs in a few of them. I spoke to the dev. They're being fixed. One got fixed yesterday. So if you have any problems with them, they, they know that there's a couple of uh, bugs and stuff. But that is uh, available now, the bundle. You can just buy it in one click. Boom. Jump, jump, gong, gang, whatever that means. I don't know. Hey, there's my avocado queen, Sith Vaz. Quez. <laughs> it's happening, Sith. Good to see you. Drum Forge got released. Um, so this is apparently, it's a little drum uh, finger drum player. I don't think it's AUV3 or anything like that. It's just something fun to play with. It looks good. I think I downloaded it. I don't know. Maybe, sort of. Uh, so as you can see here, Korg IM1 got updated with AUV3. So that's rad. After what, 10, 14 years on iOS, it's finally AUV3 which is fantastic. Lots of um, apps on sale at the moment. All the Korg apps are on sale. We covered this yesterday. FAC's got... Now, if you haven't... If you don't own Alteza and you've got six bucks, go get it. If you like the reverb... Seriously, do you like the reverb on my guitar when I do live performances? I get so many people asking me, what do you use for your reverb on your guitar when you play live? Because people like it. It's my little iconic sound. Well, that is the app that I use right there. F-A-C Alteza. It is just one of the most beautiful shimmer apps you can get. It is fucking mint. And if you don't grab it for six bucks right now, you're a lunatic. So I actually use two reverbs for my guitar sound. I use Alteza and I use Black Hole combined. So that is how I get that beautiful shimmer at the end of that big reverb from Alteza, from uh, Black Hole. Uh, Igor Vasiliev has apps on sale, Beat Cutter, Fieldscaper, Soundsaw, Space Fields, all the big ones. Good stuff. There's my mate Brad. What's going on, Brad, you sexy beast? You love it? Well, that's how I do it. And Chris, that Altether app is available on desktop as well too. So on your Mac, on your PC. So uh, I don't know if it's on sale. Over Should we have a look? Let's have a look. Oh, uh, FAC Altether. It's, El, it's spelled Alteza. Um, here we go. Uh, so there it is on the Mac store. You can get it on a Mac. I don't know if I can look at the price because it's probably going to open up on the App Store here. But it is available on the Mac App Store. Uh, $22.99 it is with in-app. Does it have in-app purchases? Oh, no, the in-app purchases. So that's what... Uh, uh, 
uh, Fred does. He doesn't have in-app purchases. He has tips. So if you'd like to tip him some stuff, you can tip him some money. But it is 22 bucks on the Mac if you're wanting to know. All righty. So, but it's only available on Mac, yeah? On the Mac App Store and on the iOS App Store. There we go. We did something I didn't expect to do today. Who, who, who knew that I could think on my feet? All right. We're looking at this today. We're looking at Dub Filter. This is by our good friends at Audio Thang. They make fantastic apps. You know, so many apps. That I listed them as one of my best developers of last year. They released like 22 apps last year. Fantastic stuff. And this is yet again something really unique, taken from a really, really old school, uh, iconic filter that's been around for a very long time. And they've, of course, taken their spin on it done something a little bit unique with it, but it still has the original mm, filter effect. What is a filter? We'll talk about that if you're not sure what a filter is. It's $9.99 on iOS. Also, my friends, you can get this on your Mac and your PC as well. Let's find out more about it. So it's a vintage high-pass filter based off King Tubby's big knob. And uh, <laughs> so... Let's uh, see how much it, can I find out how much it is here? Uh, there's the demo. Can't see exactly how much it is. It's up the top normally. $29 for PC and uh, Mac. And on iOS, $9. Normally worth $59. But there you go. Oh, and it says here, Dub Filter is free for previous owners of our discontinued product Dub Station. If you own Outer Space or Springs, you can get an additional discount. This is for Mac and PC. For those of you who think that this show's just about iOS, nearly remember, nearly everything that comes out on iOS these days is on your, on your desktop computers as well too because the iOS device is a desktop computer. You know what I'm saying? So what is this thing? This is based off a... Uh, this uh, amazing King Tubby's iconic big knob. Now, this is Audio Merge released a clone of this thing, right, uh, quite a few years ago. So it's a, designed as a replica of the vintage 1960s Altec 9069B equaliser, King Tubby's knob, right? And I've got a little video I can play of this just so you understand what this filter is and get a little bit of a filter fun. That's my word of the day, a bit of filter fun. And then we'll run in and show you a little demo. I won't play this whole video, but it'll give you an idea of what we're talking about with this filter. Let's oja. The King Tubby Speak Knob, KTBK, is a very precise replica of the Altec 9069B. It's a vintage variable third or the high pass filter with 10 stepped cutoff frequencies, validated with DSP techniques and built with customized components. The Altec is a very well-known filter for being the sound signature of King Tubby, who was the most recognized Jamaican dub producer during the 70s. Tubby used it to clean and to sweep the sound in order to create a remarkable phasing effect that defines its sound signature. The Altec 9069B was designed during the 60s by Arthur Davies. Originally, it was comprised to clean the sound, removing noises, and rumble precisely. The vintage gear components were customly made, clearly the inductors and possibly the capacitors, which nowadays are practically unexistent. That's why we built our own multi-tap inductor coil, a customly designed element based on various tests and analyses. We analyzed the frequency and phase response with different coils and coil winding techniques to get the most accurate cutoffs. On the other hand, passive filters were very sensitive to the impedance matching. The Altec unit was originally designed. All right, you get the idea. So it's a really, transfer. really popular knob. Now I could have put this on a reggae track. In fact, I'm going to soon. But I thought I'm going to do something a little bit different and put it on some just general different kind of music because it doesn't need to be. You don't need to use it on reggae, man. It's a filter, right? And it's it's like this modulated step filter, so it can you can modulate it. That's the beautiful thing about this version of this this replica or this with extended features that has come here to us for 10 bucks from our friends at audio thing so i'm going to hit play and i'm going to turn this up you'll you'll hear the filter already working in the background it's 
kind of making a little. T -t 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 -t. So let's oge. <laughs> Jamie, do, 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 do. Frank Terzo, good to see you, my friend. All righty, let's open it up and let's show you what the filter does. I'm going to clear this little project out of here. And what I'm going to do is open up a good friend of ours song. Let's bring in a, a friend of ours who did a reggae track. I'm just going to go here and uh, what are we going to do? We're going to go to File Player. I'm going to load a track in here. Uh, let me see. Should be here. There we go. We'll load this in. We'll put on a loop. Bush, bash, bosh. And then we'll load up a dub filter. And let's run through how this thing works. Okay, so we've got a little bit of rust in here. Hey, man. <laughs> so now you get some reggae. Now you can see as soon as I add this, Here's the original track. Here's our big knob. So this is a cutoff filter. What is a cutoff filter? Think about a coffee filter, right? You put coffee, you tip water in it. What does it do? It filters the coffee through the water. It, and this filters frequency. That's what a cutoff filter does. You cut off frequencies. It is a high cut filter. So. You can see here what is listed. The numbers here that go across this is a step cutoff filter, okay? And we're talking about 70 hertz all the way to 7.5 kilohertz. And you can see once I start moving this filter, what happens? We're losing all that low end. Thank you. 
Okay. So hopefully now you understand what it does. So everything is based around this big knob. Oh, let's turn that down. Let's run through some of the features of this. Of course, we have a bunch of presets, as you do with most apps these days. There's a whole lot of presets in here. We'll go through them later on. You've got a little user bank here and your factory presets. Whenever you save a preset, it will go into your user bank. Pretty standard stuff. If you want to save something, you've got a big icon of a disk. You hit save. You give it a name. Russ, Dush, save. Now, if I go to my user bank, there it is. Factory bank, user bank. That's where your presets are. I want to delete this now. I'm going to hit the delete. It asks me, would you like to delete this preset? Yes. Very simple. Now it's gone. Okay. User, the, the presets bank is super easy to understand. We have a magic dice. I can click this magic dice and it will randomize everything. Now the music will start again in a minute. It is randomized completely once the music comes back on. Uh, we'll give it because I've got it on a loop. But... Let's hit randomize again. Wow. Okay, so you can randomize for fun. Hello, Pookie, my dear. Good to see you. Give her a kiss. Mwah! There you go. Listening in the car. Good times. Let's go back to our initial patch. Oh, hey. Come back here. What happened there? Go back. There we go. I don't know what's going on. Is this a bug? <laughs> that was a weird bug. Not seen that one before. There we go. Strange. So, we've got a little lock system here. Now, why do you have the lock system? The same as all of Audio Things apps. You can actually go in here and you can lock parameters and unlock parameters. So I can say hit lock parameters and I can decide which things I want unlocked, which things I want locked for my, if I would, I oh, thank you, Pookie. That's so rad of you. Everybody, tell Pookie how much you love Pookie. We all love Pookie. I love a bit of Pookie in the morning. Thank you, Pookie, for the 10 gifted memberships. Boom. So, let me show you. You can lock parameters. So if I click this little uh, lock here, it kind of darkens the look of the, the UI. And I can go in here and click on any of these knobs. And um, the next time I hit randomize, anything that's got a lock on it won't randomize. Everything else will, except for the locks. I can hit the little padlock and you can see what's locked. It's got a little padlock next to it, right? If I want to clear all these locks, I can unlock all parameters. It'll clean them out. Or you can just click the padlock and then delete again. So if you don't want to randomize everything, you've got that option as well too. This is a thing that Audio Thing do with all their apps. You can copy presets. So if you like what you've got, you can hit a copy and you can paste it in as well. So you can do all that. You got a little zoom and scroll thing, right? Got a little zoom and scroll. So I can go in here and you got a graphics control so you can change the brightness, right? You can go in and... Change the brightness up. Let's go zero. So you can see how it changes a little bit. Let's go into graphics and control again. Brightness will go up minus. So you can make it darker if you like. So, you know, these are just pleasing things aesthetically that you can do. I like it dark. That's what she said. Okay, if you want to bypass, you've got a bypass button here. 
So you can bypass the uh, sound with a little on off switch. Pretty standard stuff. A lot, it looks much nicer dark, I think. Okay. Here's our big knob. So not only do we have this big knob, but we have a resonance or impedance button down here. So basically what this is doing, you can control the level of this point here. So see, we're at 500 right here. And if I raise up the impedance, this is actually lifting, and I'll show you this later on. So it's basically the resonance of the high pass filter. So filters are amazing, you know. They can take music to a completely different place. Yes, the Q. I'll show you in a, another demonstration soon. Let's just turn this down because it is a halfway point. Let's just get this out the way now. We, we get this out the way so we can move on. We've got Thomas Christ up today straight after this uh, with uh, You Rock playing your rock, most rock and music. And um, so, yeah, we need to run the ad, run the ad halfway through the show every day so you, you know when it's coming and you can, I don't know, get, pick your nose, do something while we're waiting. Let's run the ad. The ad has been run. If you would like to avoid the ad, you can become a YouTube Premium subscriber or just sit through or skip the ad. It's all good. That, just skip it. Come straight back. And while we're waiting, let me let, let me tell you, while we're waiting, boom, 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 boom. we got coming up tomorrow, Rad Show tomorrow, my best best friend. She's my best friend, my only friend in the whole world. Valerie Butt is coming on the show for a Creator Rewind interview sponsored by DistroKid. It's going to be rad, not too heavy, let me tell you that. It's just going to be a lot of fun. Me and Valerie shooting the shit, catching up on everything that she's done since the last time we hung out. Boom. There you go. Welcome back from the ad. Let's get back over here. Okay, here we go. We're back. <laughs> the beautiful thing about this app is we have some modulation stuff going on. Yeah, so we've got an LFO and that can modulate this big knob. Let's show you. So you can see as soon as I turn it on, you can see this is modulating and moving between these frequencies. Now the LFO controls are over here. This is the on button. You can control the speed. You can control how much of it. So how wide the cutoff filter will go. Whoa. And currently it's set to free roaming. So you'll see when I turn this knob, It's not locked to our BPM. There's a little light over here, a little musical note. If I click this now, when I change this knob, you'll see it's moving in time to our BPM. We've got half, two bars, one bar. We can go all the way down to 64 bars. So nice, really, really super slow. It's going to move here. So it's at 2K. It's every 64 bars, it's going to move. Well, not... 
We can go to four bars so you can see it slowly moving across. You can also change the wave of the modulation as well. So we can do like sample and hold where it's going to be disjointed. Let's uh, make it a bit faster. Get the song to start again. So you see with sample and hold, it's going to jump around. It's actually jumping around. So you're going to get more of a randomization kind of thing happening. You got to sign up. So it's just going to keep going up and up from left to right. You can go square. And because it's set to a full, because it's set to a full amount here, it's just bouncing off to 7.5K. If we bring this down, you're going to get a lot tighter bounce there. So you can get quite inventive with it. All right, let's turn off the LFO. So you also have an envelope follower as well. So for this to work, it, it, it works on the transients of the input of the sound that's coming through, right? So to turn on the envelope, let's just turn it down for a second. Now you can hear that's going off. It's going off its brain. Come down, relax. So it's listening to the music. It's moving here. So let's turn up the envelope. Now, when it's in the middle, oops, come back. When it's at zero, it's avoiding the envelope, right? Avoiding it altogether. When we turn it to the left, the amount, it's actually going to move the uh, big knob over to the left. If we move it to the right, Sorry, the left, left and right. I've got my left and right around the wrong way. But if we move it to the right, you'll see this will start. See how it's going over to the 1K? Every time the transient is hit. Let's start the song again. So it's bouncing between this 500 and 1K. But if we take this back, it's going to go into the low end. Okay, so what is the attack and release? So the attack is how fast it's going to react to the transient. If I turn this up, it's going to be a lot slower. In fact, not much. We can drag the release. So the release time, how long. So you can see now, because we've taken it all the way to the right-hand side, it's pushing over here, but it's not, this isn't an LFO, it's not working off a sine wave, it's actually working off the transients of the music that is being fed into it. Let's pull back this impedance.
Okay, so I've turned off the uh, the envelope follower now. Let's talk about the input. This is the input. What's coming in? This is your output. All of the pitches of the pitches are survive. And this is your mix. So this is your mix here as well. How much of this is taking over the, the music? Let's uh, just turn on a sweep. And as you can see here, we can pull the mix back. So it becomes subtle. Okay, let's talk about some other stuff here. I'm going to clean this back to its initial initial patch. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Seems like a bug to me. Okay, let's go back here and do that. You oh, you can actually tap. Oh, I get it. You can actually tap where you want it to be. That's cool. It's not a bug at all, <laughs> dickhead. <coughs> so what I'm doing is if you tap up the top or tap down the bottom, you can... Move it around. That's pretty cool. Hey, Paul, what's happening? All right. Let's talk about these little things here. These are important. Now, they're subtle to some people, but uh, important to know what they do. Yes. Let's hit play again on Russ's track. We'll start it again. We have this button up here called Extra HP. So this, when disabled, becomes a 12 dB octave. Uh, octave, is that right? So it's a little extra high pass filter there. Our magnetism controls a non linear model of the inductance being used in a circuit emulation affecting the slope and intensity generated harmonic content. So it adds harmonics. I'll shut up so you can hear it. It's turned up all the way now. Let's turn it all the way down. So it really fucks shit up. <laughs> That's the term and I'm sticking with it. Hi, Lady Campion. I swear to God, as soon as I say fuck shit up, in comes Lady Campion. I can't win. So that is your magnetism. It's almost like a, uh, it's almost like a tape, uh, uh, a tape kind of thing, but it's a, uh, Basically, it adds harmonics to it, yeah? We've got our character here. Controls the non-linear behavior of the filter, controlling the amount of harmonic content generated. So let's turn this down. And look, uh, Audible's trying to take over the show here, so let's let Audible explain what this does. One day he's eventually going to get his own show and re release a song. Who knows? Um, so, yeah, Dynamics, there you go. Let, uh, dynamics controls how smooth the frequency change made by the nonlinear physical model of inductance. With extreme setting model 
Might sound like an envelope filter. Nice job. They're uh, audible. Now, you've got a soft clip up here. Let me tell you, keep the soft clip on. Just in case, like, soft clip is... The, uh, audio thing, put one in every one of their apps. It just saves you the hassle of just in case you turn a knob too far and everything gets really loud, it's just going to, like, soften the blow. Yeah, so you don't blow your eardrums out. You gotta love this automation stuff, it's wonderful. You have this knob here at the end, this is the artifacts, and what it does is it creates artifacts. Listen, it creates like this popping, filthy kind of noise. It's like clicks and noises. Good grief, Frank. <laughs> I think Frank's been into the medicine today. <laughs> Somebody put a leash on Frank. Uh, <laughs> Good grief. All right. Let's explain. <laughs> so you can hear those pops. Going away in the background there. Because this is this deals with frequencies and that, that's why when I'm not playing anything, you can still hear this shit going off. Let me give you a little demonstration of how this works, just so you can see a visual representation of what is happening. Um I've got a I've got a little couple of scopes here and stuff. Maybe if uh, Pure Synth Platinum decides to load. So Basically, what I've got here is a, a uh, square wave, and I'm going to open up a couple of windows here. We've got a little oscilloscope over here, which will just show you an image of the uh, thingamabob. And we got this over here. So let's just show you the cutoff so you can see when I hold down a note, what I want you to pay attention to, we've got our, um, let me bring this down here. Turn off that LFO. What I want you to pay attention to is the highest peak over here. So this is off at the moment. Now watch. Can you see what's going on there? Let's make this full screen. Oh, I can't make, actually make it full screen. But you can see down the bottom here, we have our Hertz. Hertz to kilohertz, okay? So when I hold down, you can see that is sitting at the number that is represented down below here, right? So we're set at 7.5K, and you can see this is sitting at around 7.5. As we drag this, it moves. So this is what it's doing to the frequencies. It's putting all that focus on this area of the... Yee. Just so you can see a representation of it. It's all good. I'm not going to torture you with any more of this sound. And I love how... Look, just watch how this square wave changes. So we're doing it's it's doing a lot of shit there, you know. Let's uh, turn on the uh, thing of Bobby.
Nice. All right, we can get out of here now. And what else? Do I have something else in here I can load up to mess around with? Let's, uh, what do I have? I think I've got four projects in here. What about this? Is there a jazz one? Why not? Let's do the jazz one. do -lo 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 -lo. Yes. Okay. Hey. So I've got another one of um, Audio Things apps on here called Outer Space, set to our dub. And it's really interesting, when you put like a reverb or a delay in front of this, it really creates some interesting stuff. Let's go through some presets on this drum. So this is a one bar sweep. A two bar filter out. And this is in time, this is sunk up to the actual 120 BPM. So two bar sweep. Four bar sweeps, a lot slower. I'm using jabs, <laughs> yeah, jazz to help you. I don't know, I'll have a jazz joke. We got an eight bar sweep, so much slower. So this one is uh, the uh, Ascent Tour. This is actually using the envelope follower. So it's using the transients of the drum kit. So we've got like an auto filter here, running off the amp follower, the envelope follower. This is like an auto wah. But there's a whole bunch of presets in here that'll just mess up your sound. Like this one, this broken one. So I did forget also uh, this knob here. This is the uh, original and measured mode. So this selects between uh, two dif different sets of frequencies. So you can see this is turned on. See how the frequencies are a bit different? 99, 141, 192. If I turn this off, they change back to a more uh, original.
This bubble one's fun. Hey, pole vault, what's going on? Lurking it and working. Let's show you some bass. Look what it does to a bass. Remember, bass has very low frequencies, yeah? So when I turn up the mix and we turn this to 7.5K, there's no bass. All we've got are sounds, are like clickings. So isn't that messed up? What do we got? Today's uh, featured artist is Son of Snake. See the pinned comment up there? Is it there? Did I set the pinned comment today? <laughs> I have no idea. Yes, it is. Let's go with our tried and true favorite little thing just to close out of here. I'm going to just quickly load up our blues dub filter. I use this thing all the time. It's nice and fun. Tempo change, of course. Let's go for it. So we got a guitar here with an auto wire on it now. How cool is that? Let's add an envelope to this. So you get these really rad kind of fart sounds out of your bass. <laughs> I love it. Love it. <laughs> How stinky is that? Anyway, it's a barrel of fun if you love big knobs. It's a big filter that you can play with. Lots of fun to have. It's really good on using it for dance music and stuff because it's almost like it is. It's a modulating filter. You can get some really interesting sounds out of arpeggios and stuff like that. Don't have to use it for like reggae. Don't, you know, just because you see the word dub doesn't mean you have to do what it tells you on the box and all that kind of stuff. 
Another great app from our friends at Audio Thing. If you're a patron, we've got some copies to give away, so don't fret your pretty little socks there. Let's shut this uh, down. We don't need it anymore. How much was it? It was the grand total of $9.99 on iOS, $29 if you're using it on your Mac or your desktop. From here, this is a... Did I... Here it is. So here's their website at audiothing.net. You can find out more there. Let's Oge, we're going to send you all out over to Thomas Christ today. He's playing your most rocking music, yeah? And we've got a quick one today to close out, so we're all good. It's only a two-minute song, just in time. This is Son of Snake with a track called Son of Snake 332. Remember, tomorrow is Valerie Butt on the show you're going to love. it. We're going to have a blast tomorrow, lots of laughs. We're going to play music, talk about what she's been doing over the last... Couple of years since she was on the show, was it a couple of years? I don't even know. What day is it? Who am I? Let's just remember this. Stay awake. Do the things that make you happy. Mistakes make you better and we'll all rise together. And I'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow with Valerie Bett. See you over at Thomas Christ. This is the legend, the man, the myth, the god, son of snake. It's Oja.